Rolf Rick right here at Gen Con 2021. We're here to talk about restoration games because we got to sit down with a prototype of one of their newest games, Thunder Road. Though I guess I shouldn't say newest because if you know restoration games, they like to give old games a new coat of polish. Yeah. This one is no exception. Now, like we said, this was a very early demo, so not all the pieces are complete and have that final touch. But the idea behind this game is you're all racing and pretty much things are gonna get extremely hectic and most likely a lot of you or cars are gonna blow up. <laughs> yeah, you're not just racing, you're also trying to kill each other. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's a great way to win a race. If you're the only one left, you're gonna win. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so the way the game works, each player has three cars of different sizes, small, medium, and large. And you're gonna roll dice at the start of the round and you're gonna use those dice, assign them to one of your cars on each of your turns, and that determines how far that car goes. Uh, you can only move each car once per round, so later on, once they're on the map, they'll be moving forward from their original position, uh, whereas when you first start out, they just come in from the back. And you can move them however you'd like as long as they're going forward, but they're maybe obstacles, of course, that come along the way. For example, you can slam into other people's cars, uh, or you might hit uh, dangerous terrain or other kinds of hazards on the road, little tiles that you'll flip to discover what they are. And a lot of things in the game result in you rolling different kinds of dice to figure out exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. a, big, a big thing you're going to be doing, as we said, is trying to kill each other. That's the shooting part of your turn. If you are behind a, some people in a certain range, you can roll a die to see if you're able to hit them. And the bigger the car is, the easier it's going to be to hit, which only makes sense. Mm -hmm. There are four dice you roll, actually. So one of them also is used for a bonus action. This is done in addition to moving a car. It could do healing, but the really cool thing is a helicopter. <laughs> you get to put it on the board, and shoot people, <laughs> simple as that. But once a helicopter is there, if anyone ever stops underneath the helicopter, the helicopters drop the bomb and instantly destroy the car there. <laughs> yeah. The reason why this is all important is because that helps set up death traps. The big <laughs> mechanic of this game is when you end up on a space with an opponent. Mm -hmm. That causes you to bash into each other, you roll a, these dice, which tell you whether the top car, the car that initiated the attack, or the bottom car moves somewhere on the board. Now, if you are a larger car, you get to re-roll if you don't like it. But the idea is they're going to hit the car out of the way. Not do damage directly, but that can hit into another car, which hits into another car, which could hit into the helicopter, hit into an obstacle, which causes damage. <laughs> yeah, every time. So if you're on top of a car, you slammed into it, and then be as a result of the slam, that car slams into another car, it's, it really it sets up a chain reaction that to me it's, it reminded me of setting up like a combo in Tetris or something. Uh, or maybe Puyo Puyo is a better, better example. You don't need to know the best <laughs> example of that. But it'll just create this insane chain reaction of you could have like 50 different, they could go back and forth a hundred times yeah. theoretically <laughs> and it could just be sheer chaos. But in a, in a fun way, at least no, from what we experience. No, it really feels like some of those party fighting games when all of a sudden just everything breaks loose and you just don't know how things are going to end up yeah you're just laughing when you're like <laughs> you think you're so clever like i'm gonna ram into you but then it hits back and then you go backwards into a helicopter you're like oh no <laughs> <laughs> yeah so there's definitely you know this is a game that has dice and, and chaos and randomness but you are in control of where you put your cars to some extent how you assign your dice and which of those powers we mentioned that you use uh so you can try to mitigate some of that stuff. It's, I don't think this is a total randomness fest. That's not a good way to say it. A luck fest, that's the word. Mm -hmm. But it is, I think, you know, as is appropriate for this game, I think it is kind of a throwback to the original version. So you are going to get that kind of loose, fun, like old school kind of retro game vibe, I think. I think it. that will be some of it. Just the fun of the chaos that ensues, but just enough that you're setting yourself up not for the perfect plan but for the perfect chaos <laughs> for the perfect chaos yeah uh, again we just saw this rough prototype but i can only imagine it's going to have really awesome art and everything coming out uh, when the game mm -hmm. is finally finished it's going to be on kickstarter i believe next month is the plan so you can stay tuned and see how that's going to all look and they're also going to have expansions right alongside yeah, it with they said like modes. one with like trucks and motorcycles <laughs> yeah, and yeah. like uh actually actual like sort of instead of just games of like specific mission goals and stuff like that so there's 
going to be plenty for you in this game if it sounds like it's something up your alley. Yeah, this is not one that we had played the original version of, but uh, the new one seems pretty cool. So something to check out. We Let were us definitely know. laughing a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we had some fun blowing each other up or uh, failing to. <laughs> Let us know what you think about Thunder Road. If you played the original one, what do you think might be better or worse in this new version? Talk to us in the comments. Otherwise, uh, catch more of us at Gen Con 2021 later on by staying tuned right, right here to this channel. You've been watching Roll for Crits coverage of Gen Con 2021. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to all our patrons on Patreon for supporting us as well. Yeah, we're going to have exclusive coverage of Gen Con at patreon.com slash rollforcrit, or you can find us right here on YouTube at our podcast. All that stuff is at rollforcrit.com slash Gen Con. You don't want to miss it.